Zakir Naik's bad logic isn't just with statistics and it isn't just with things about evolution. He also extends it to attacking the Holy Word of God. It's mentioned in the Proverbs, chapter number 6, verse number 7, that ant has got no ruler, no seer, no chief. Today we know that ants are sophisticated insects. They have a very good system of labor in which they have chief, they have foreman, they have workers, they even have queen, they even have a ruler. Therefore, Bible is unscientific. Well, this is wrong. In fact, the queen ant, or the queen of a colony, is not a commander of any sort. She's not a leader. She actually just reproduces, and when she's done reproducing, the other ants in the colony kill her. And so the scriptures are correct, and Nike has once again used faulty logic to attack something that is actually true. In his video, Why the West is Coming to Islam, Zakir Naik talks about how the West needs Sharia in order to avoid corruption and bribery. But the fact of the matter is, Transparency International, an organization that's not affiliated with any religion, has shown that countries that have been touched by the Protestant Reformation are the least corrupt countries of the whole entire world. In other words, when we look at religion and corruption, we find that the teachings of Jesus have proved indispensable for eradicating corruption. The only parts of the world which have escaped corruption are those who have taken the Bible seriously since the Protestant Reformation. Zakir Naik often tries to show his audience that Islam is the fastest growing religion due to the rapid conversion rates in the West, that people are flocking to Islam because it is so true. Well, this is wrong. The reason Islam is growing as fast as it is is because of the high birth rates, not because of conversions. In fact, sources from Oxford University would say that Christianity is the fastest growing religion when it comes to conversions. But Islam is growing faster due to the fact that Muslims are having more children. But he also draws false parallels in other regards. In fact, he said that if Americans just paid zakat, 2.5% of their income, then all the poverty and crime in America would simply disappear. But what Zakir Naik doesn't tell you is that, in fact, the United States has the highest giving per capita of any country in the world. In fact, the evangelical Christians in the United States give even more, 4% of their income, more than what Zakat requires.